Now let us solve the example number 2. Now the equations given to you x plus y is equal to 5 and x minus y is equal to 3. As the video is becoming longer I have already solved and prepared the table. So I will explain how I got the coordinates. Okay. Now let's check first equation x plus y is equal to 5. So what you are going to get x equal to 5 minus y. Okay. Means I am shifting y to the RHS it is going to become minus. So x plus 5 x is equal to 5 minus y say this is equation number 1 ok now here which value I am going to assume correct we are going to assume the value of y and getting the value of x ok so now let us start now here first y is equal to 0 so when you substitute y is equal to 0 in equation number 1 it is x equal to 5 minus 0 5 minus 0 is 5 so you got the value of x is 5 so write the coordinates here 5 comma 0 so it is going to be the ordered pair is 5 comma 0 that is the co first coordinate now let's take some negative value say y is equal to minus 2 so here I have taken y is equal to minus 2 now let's substitute in equation number 1 so what you are going to get x is equal to 5 minus of minus 2 this is very important you have to take the minus sign in the bracket means here whenever you are using any negative numbers please use the bracket so that you can easily change the sign so minus of minus will become plus so it is 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 so the you got the coordinate 7 here and the ordered pair is 7 minus 2 now let's take third negative value so y is equal to minus 4 so here y is equal to minus 4 let us substitute again x is equal to 5 minus of minus 4 now again 5 minus of minus 4 means going to become plus so 5 plus 4 is 9 so you got x ordinate is 9 so the ordered pair is 9 comma minus 4 now let's take some positive value say y is equal to 3 so substitute here y is equal to 3 in equation number 1 so you got x equal to 5 minus 3 5 minus 3 is 2 so the coordinates are 2 now the ordered pair is 2 comma 3 now let's take the last one say y is equal to 5 when you substitute here 5 minus 5 so x is equal to 5 minus 5 x is equal to 0 so like that you got 0 and the ordered pair is 0 comma 5 okay now let's go to the second equation so x minus y is equal to 3 again I'm, I want to find the value of x by assuming the value of y so it is going to become x is equal to 3 plus y now let us start now here I am assuming the value of y say suppose this is equation number 2 now let us substitute all the assumed values in equation number 2 now let's take say y is equal to 0 so usual process take 0 substitute in equation number 2 3 plus 0 so x is equal to 3 so the ordered pair is 3 comma 0 let's similarly take y is equal to minus 4 over here substitute 3 plus as I told minus is there means you have to use bracket so 3 plus of minus 4 plus of minus will become minus so 3 minus 4 is minus 1 so the ordered pair is minus 1 comma minus 4 is it okay now let's move further y is equal to minus 6 you can choose the values or the coordinates in such a way that it should fit in your graph so y is equal to minus 6 so x is equal to 3 plus of bracket again minus 6 plus minus will become minus so 3 minus 6 is minus 3 so you got the x ordinate is minus 3 so the coordinate is minus 3 comma minus 6 now let's move further say so y is equal to 2 some positive value so when you substitute here so it is x is equal to 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 is going to become 5 correct so you got the ordered pair 5 comma next let's take y is equal to 5 so x is equal to 3 plus 5 now you got x is equal to 8 so the last ordinate is 8 and 5 that is coordinate you got is 8 comma 5 so like this you have prepared the table for example number 2 okay now let us see how to plot the graph now let us plot okay now first is 9 comma minus 4 now x coordinate is 9 which is not there in my graph so I am discarding this one now let's take 7 also 7 is also not there on my graph now let's take the third one that is 5 comma 0 5 is there 5 comma 0 last time I told it will be always there on the 
x axis y comma 0 now next is 2 comma 3 so x coordinate is 2 y com coordinate is 3 so the intersection will be here just put a small dot and give a nice circle over here now next last is here 0 comma 5 so x is 0 and y is 5 so means this coordinate will be on the y axis like this okay so like this you got the three coordinates now let us draw the line for this so take the again as I told you must have you must match the points carefully and draw the graph okay and see that you are drawing the graph to the full length like this till the end of the graph page you can write the equation anywhere say I am writing it here that is x plus y is equal to 5 okay so like this we have plotted the graph no, line number 1 okay now let's move further second table second equation uh, let us start plotting now here minus 3 minus 6 now minus 3 on x axis minus 6 on y axis so you will get the coordinate here so that is minus 3 minus 6 okay similarly now minus 1 minus 4 so minus 1 here and minus 4 here so here is the coordinate minus 1 minus 4 next is 3 comma 0 3 comma 0 means on the x axis okay then 5 comma 2 so 5 here on x axis 2 from the y axis so you will get the coordinate here so last is 8 comma 5 which will not fit in my graph so now let us draw the line okay so here match the points very carefully and draw the line to the full length on the graph page like this and draw it sharp do not redraw on the line and now write the equation that is x minus y is equal to 3 okay so like this you have to plot the graph now here the intersecting point is 4 comma 1 now substitute in any of the equation of your so it is 4 plus 1 is 5 means this coordinate is correct okay so here you got the answer so like this you have to plot the graph and this is the table preparation